Hey guys, what's up? So, it's uh, Christmas time and I'm putting some lights up. And I'm kind of frustrated that, you know, I started replacing all my light strings with LEDs, lights that are more expensive, but even those more expensive LEDs seem to fail the exact same way as the uh, the older style lights, the uh, indicating lights. But, um, well, it's the same concept, they're, they're wired in a series, so this is the first year I decided I'm going to take a look at it and try to fix it. So... Um, because now the string, I had to go buy new strings, and they're, they're for the LED ones I wanted, they were $14 each. So, yeah, they're way more expensive than the regular light bulbs. So, all right. So, yeah, I mean, at $14, I'm willing to put the time in to repair them. But the other ones I was just throwing away. So let me uh, show you what I got going here, how I'm going to test them. I uh, got my variable power supply here. I, you could also do it with a multimeter, too. But here I'm just to try to show you that running three volts so three volts in my multimeter so let me grab the string of lights and I'll be back real quick alright so let me show you what I got going here so it's plugged in and this is super super common only half the string actually works so in this case it's actually the back part of the string but so I started taking a closer look at how these things work and 99% um, of the LEDs I work with are, are DC powered and that's what I'm thinking this is right here. I'm thinking this is basically a rectifier. And what that does is it converts AC signal to a, to a DC signal. And that's actually what's powering these things in a series. So if one bulb goes out, it takes the whole thing out. So, um, yeah, there should be another rectifier somewhere on here. There it is. Yeah, because you have two separate circuits, both fed by AC. Then at the same time, the AC signal is fed all the way to the bottom here, too, as well. So, all right, so I'm going to actually use my uh, DC power supply, and I'm going to start trying to, I'm going to first figure, figure out what the polarity is of these lights. I'm going to put my clamps on here, and I'm going to see what side is the uh, positive, what side is the negative, because um, like an older style light is not polarity specific, whereas an LED is. All right, let me get, figure out what that is. So. What I have here is a connection. It's called a bed of nails connection. I use this as my uh, telco stuff. So you, you see that little, it's a bunch of little needles right there and it's going to pierce the wire so I can clamp onto it and send some voltage down it so I can figure out what the, uh, what size positive, what size negative. All right, so I have it clamped on there. So I know negative's on this side, positive's on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step up the voltage and uh, I'm having trouble. These aren't actually ideal. What you want is the smaller wire piercer. I might have to turn up the voltage a little bit because the more the more bulbs you have in line, you have to turn up the voltage to make it work. So I'm bringing this up to about five volts. See? Let's take a look at that. So at three volts, these things don't even fire because every time it drops by three volts. But as soon as I get to five volts, see that? Okay, so. I don't want to go too high. But so every time I add in a light, so I know it's obviously it's not these two lights that are bad. So every time I go up, I'm going to bring it up by 3 volts. So I'm going to go for this thing can only do, it's a 12 volt power supply, so I can only go up to 12 volts, but so I know I can get 4 bulbs on 12 volts. So it's the same thing. I'm going to keep on going up until I find the bad circuit here. So I'm going to bring this, I know that it needs to at least have go up to 9 volts here. There, see? So I know that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going 4 at a time here. So I'm going to bring it up to 12 volts. Sorry, well 13. 13 is close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to keep on going up the string. So see those four lights lit up? So I know those are good. And I'll go all the way up until the where it stops. And I make a mark. All right. All right. So I think I found a, the area where I can't get it to work. So I've actually recramped these a couple times. And so now I'm gonna turn this thing back down to uh, three volts. And I'm gonna test the individual LEDs. And I can isolate it. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to make a mark. Um, 
this is where I'm supposed to be in case I lose my spot and a little safety pin here. This is where I'm going. So between here and here, this is it. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back down three volts. Test this one. Oh, sorry. Right, get you back in the frame here. All right. So now I'm gonna go back. Test these individual bulbs. Okay, we know we're getting light there. I'm going to get the voltage just a little bit. 5 volts. Alright, that one works. Alright, bring the next one up. Crimp down. And crimp on this side. Okay, that one works. I mean, you could also test, you could actually also pull the light bulbs out and test them individually. Or just pull the actual bulb out. You don't have to crimp it on here. That one works. So, maybe I didn't crimp down hard enough or this bulb is bad. Ooh, ooh actually that's, oh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> this one kind of looks like it has it got water in it or something. So, let's see. Alright. There we go. I think that's it. So this thing is definitely not powering up. So let's uh, we'll take this one out. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it's also missing a a lead too on it. And the lead is corroded and stuck in there. All right, I'm gonna get my little wire cutter or my uh, needle nose. Grab that real quick. All right, guys, take a look. So what's funny is the, the packet of um, bulbs that they actually gave you were different than the, uh, the bulbs that came out of it. They're like These ones were longer. So that was... I had to cut this one down and grind it a little bit to make, make it sit in there. But yeah, so now we're getting light. And uh, let's go back and see if we can get this, whole, this one string lit up again. This section. I'm hoping that's the only bulb that's bad. Here. Oh, got some problems. Either that or my. I think it doesn't work. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't bring up the voltage. It's not going to fire that many. There we go. See that? There we go. Now, 13 volts. So I think if you have a 12 volt power supply, just like some little cheaper one, you can cut off and put some connectors on. You could do that. But uh, at least with this string, it was, each of these require around three, three, uh, three volts. So, all right, let's go back. Uh, make sure you unplug your leads before you plug it back into the power, and we'll see what's up. Doesn't matter. This section right here was bad. So let's see. I only tested to the point where. All right, guys. Not hard at all. Actually, it took me longer to film the video than it did to just to do this. So, I mean, in theory, I could blow this out in probably a couple minutes. And uh, my net lights, I have another bad set of net lights I got to fix, too. Um, so these were about $16 at the LEDs at Home, uh, Home Depot. And then these were at uh, like 11 I think like 12 bucks. So at this kind of cost, I don't want to... Like, I just had to spend f almost 50 bucks to get more lights to replace a bad one. So, uh, cool. Hopefully this will save me some money in the future. Pretty basic. Uh, you can also do this with a, with a multimeter too. I mean, just by checking resistance and stuff. All right. So all I used was a total power supply, but like I said, any little, you know, you can grab like a little power supply like this and just cut off the end, and you know, as long as it says 12 volts on it, and uh, you know, kind of do the exact same thing. All right. Yeah, but you can't test it. By the way, you can't. It has to be after the rectifier. Because this is, this is the thing converted from AC to DC, so you have to test it after the rectifier. So, alright, cool. Awesome.